Hey, what's up? Welcome back to the channel today. We're focusing on how to improve your gameplay, doing some comparisons, another player showcase for you today. If you missed the last one, we did 102 speed player showcase, focusing on specific players with insane attributes. Usually I'm trying to get them 100 and above. Last time we had 105 speed, stealing bases, stealing home, whatnot, whatnot, X, Y, Z. But this week we're going to do a batter's eye comparison. So how I have this set up is I have half and half about top half of my lineup with almost 90 plus batter's eye traits. We see here Patrick Mahomes 109 batter's eye. We're going to compare that against players with default players, recruits that you start out with basic. They're sitting at about 40 to 50, maybe 60 batter's eye. I'm going to walk you through how they perform and kind of why I think batter's eye is such an important trait, especially when you're first starting out. You might not need to max it all the way to 90 or 100, but to just get it to like 60, 70, 80, have it in that range, you're good to go. So before I get into this, I kind of want to go over what exactly is Batter's Eye. We pull up the help menu, and it's defined here in the game as Batter's Eye, ability to get walks and predict the pitch. So this is when the ball, the pitch is coming in, and where... The batter thinks that pitch is coming in at. You'll see a circle right before the pitch gets to you. That's where the batter thinks it's coming in at, but it may or may not be accurate. And this rating will affect where that is and how close it is to where the pitch is actually thrown. So starting out here, 109 batter's eye. Let's see. We're not going to swing on the first two pitches, and let's see just how close we can get. So it's going to go upper left and... Boom, the pitch is right on the money. It's where we expected it to be right here. Again, pretty close to where we want, where we want it to be. And two strikes, so we're going to try to swing at it. It's going to be in the middle somewhere, right? Now, I do want to note with curveballs, fork balls, sliders, anything with a lot of movement, it will throw you off quite a bit. But fastball is probably the golden standard, but with those more movement based pitches they will be a little bit further off the dot so now going into 40 batter's eye default player recruit right out of the bat let's see how well he does so we thought it was going to be mid mid level kind of a little bit on the outside but it was low and in and now we're going to low and in but see it's off by a little little bit more now and now once again we're seeing that we're consistently off by a little. We're thinking it's going to go kind of in the middle. It's going to go higher than where we think it is. And 2-2, two, two, we're going to try to swing. So we thought that was a ball, right? When we, when the pitcher threw the ball, the batter's eye came in. We thought that was going to be a ball for sure. Inside, high, upper corner. But it's going to go in and strike us out. So with that default setting, we're going to get a lot more strikeouts that that are necessary just because it's hard to tell where the ball is coming especially in a video game it's kind of your guide as to where you want to position the circle and also with the lower contact rating that hitting circle is going to be smaller so you want to be closer you want to be as close as you can second up 92 batter's eye is going to go low yep that's about where we think it's going to be it's a ball no worries here up high could be a ball knuckle curve it's a little bit outside but general vicinity here, right down the middle, right on the money. And once again, with the with the movement, the curveballs and things like that, it's going to be a little harder, but right there, easy walk. It increases our chances of getting walked. Now, 39 batter's eye, let's see how we do. It's going to go low, a little bit off from where we think it's going to be. It's going to, oh, clearly right down the middle, inside, no, it's high, it's high. It's going to be low, eh, kind of middle, so 1-2 now. we got to take a swing at it. So that's where we think it is, and we're off. So since it's a game, you don't have that much time to react in between when the pitch is thrown, when you have to move that batting cursor, and when you hit the ball. 
So we're just going to dive into another inning. This is going to be more normal gameplay, and let's just see how this plays out. 85 batter's eye. Right on the dot, and we're going to get a nice double deep into center field, all the way back to the warning track, back to the wall. After this one, I kind of want to do a power hit comparison. A lot of you love going for those power hits, but that would compound the issue because when you're doing a power hit and we strike out there, that control, that circle where you can have an effective hit is just going to be that much smaller. So in a power hitting type of situation, you have to be just that much more accurate to know where the ball is going to be, be close to it, and react to any changes. So right there, we thought it's going to go up. It was way down. We swing at it, and we chop at the ball. It's going to be an easy out for the defense. So we're going to skip this inning, go to the top of the third, and we're going to try power. So 84 batter's eye, not the highest, but not default. So there, we think it's going up. That was a good chance. A little, little slow on the reaction, but it was close to where we want that to be. Now back to the top of the lineup, 109 batters. I would think that's going to be inside kind of ball. We're going to take that ball. Now, boom, right on the money. Once again, I was a little bit off there, but you see where I'm going with this. 40 batters. I power hit. Let's see. See, I'm waiting for it down there. But the ball, the pitch is going to come up high, and I have to try to react to that with the smaller batting circle. It's just going to be harder to do. And see right there, I had to adjust once again. Just notice where I initially go, where, where I think it's going. I'm going to go straight there, and if it's off, I have to react last minute, which is not ideal. So this is going to be way outside. That was so far outside that it's going to be a ball either way. But now, see... I thought it was going to be in for a strike. I'm going to swing at it, but it is, it's actually ends up outside. So we swing and strike out. Just going to go through that once again. Just watch for where, where I'm initially at and where the pitch is going. 92 batters at. Curveball there is not going to trick us. Fork ball. So once again, with the more movement-based pitches. There we go. Right on the money. Matter of timing there, but not location. That was more of a timing issue. 39 batter's eye. It's going to go way up. I think it's a ball. Ooh, comes in. It's a strike. Ball. That's a strike once again. So 0 2 now. And there, I was too late in adjusting. Couldn't get there in time, and I strike out. You know, the goal would be to get a nice home run. Oh, he's going to. Wow. I was surprised he got back all the way that far. We're going to try to fish for another home run. Just some more examples. Um, see if we can get a home run off of these guys. I'm going to be swinging at everything now. Oh, right off the t edge of the bat. It's going to get picked up. But there, once again, not ideal where we, where we want it to come off the edge of the bat. Same thing kind of happened there. Oh, he dro okay, he drops it, so I guess we're going to get a nice pass to second with that speed. I had to adjust once again. Down low, it's going to go way outside. Up high, there, a lot better. It was a lot closer than we expected, but most of the time, it's not going to be as easy when you have a lower batter's eye. So now we're going to get a nice deep one to center. But that was kind of the gist of it. If you have any questions as I go along, let me know down in the comments below. If you're doing your own testing, testing, let me know how you think. And I guess wrapping up the video as we get a couple more runs. This is why I personally suggest investing into that batter's eye trait in the beginning couple levels when you first get your players doesn't have to be maxed out. I know power contact, all the fielding stats, speed, you want to upgrade those as well. But just to make your life that much easier, give you a bigger advantage of where that ball is actually going. Because at the end of the day, the whole point of the game is to 
hit that ball, right? We want to get hits. We got to get home runs, get runs, score a ton. But if you don't know where that ball is going, you're not going to know where to hit it. So that was my little spiel on batter's eye. Link to a couple videos on how I set my lineup, what attributes, more in-depth video on what attributes are, what I like to upgrade. But if you liked this video, thought it was helpful, drop me a like down below, comment. As I said, any questions, stay subscribed. We're on that road to a thousand. Share this video with your friends. Tell them to get subscribed. Peace out. Thanks for watching.